My name is Dorothy Politan. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the director of the Gender and Sexuality Student Programs Office. Um, I've been at Bentley for seven years, and I came to Bentley because I was hired by the Center for Women in Business. So I really got to work with them for a while, and super grateful for that opportunity. Um, during that time, we started the Women's Leadership Program and a bunch of other student orgs and initiatives. The Center for Women in Business started in 2011 by Gloria Cords Larson, who was their first female president. Bentley had historically been an all-white uh, male accounting college, um, and so we've been making a lot of progress towards inclusivity and diversity, and so when Gloria Cords Larson came into being a president, she saw a real need here and started the Center for Women in Business. Um, she did this, of course, with generous donations from PwC, um, the Manfredi family, and many, many other donors. My name is Becky McDougall. I've been with the Center for Women in Business for five years now. I um, started as an event manager, uh, managing the signature programs for the Center. So that included our Women on Boards program, uh, which was uh, to raise awareness of um, the fact that we needed more women on corporate boards. Um, and to help fill the pipeline of, um, to get more women into those corporate board seats. Uh, so that's one program. Our Gearing Up Conference happens every June. That's for uh, women and non-binary folks in the first decade of their careers to really gain the skills and inspiration needed to continue to see themselves thrive in a long-term career. Uh, and that's a one-day conference that we offer uh, and then also managing our executive working group. That's a thought leadership membership, uh, membership group for quarterly ongoing diversity, equity, and inclusion related topics. Um, and so I've been managing those programs along with taking on bigger role in our strategy to um, advance workplace diversity and inclusion issues. Um, and specifically focus on intersectional gender equity. At the start of the center, we were partnering with the governor's office, Governor Deval Patrick, and there, was, there were a hundred organizations that signed on to this gender equity challenge. Um, and so from there, we've even deepened some of those partnerships to continue to bring uh, in-house trainings and to partner with them for uh, sponsorship of some of our other programs as well. And then we've also worked with uh, the Gender and Sexuality Student Programs Office to provide them with mentoring support and um, uh, corporate settings to really learn from firsthand. One thing I'm really looking forward to here is uh, becoming a bigger part of the Bentley student community and making sure that we're a resource to folks to know uh, we can provide them with the support they need to uh, continue their career journey, to really support their professional growth um, through their years at Bentley and um, help develop specifically our women and um, non-binary students to really see themselves um, leaving Bentley and aspiring to leadership. So I'm looking forward to taking on uh, a bigger role here on campus. My name is Dominique Wilburn. I am the Assistant Director of Programs here at the CWB. I joined the team in February 2021, so 
in the midst of the pandemic, so I've sort of crossed the year and a half threshold. In my role as assistant director, I am tasked with overseeing the delivery and execution of our customized programming um, for the CWB as well as helping out with our executive education department. Um, and so I work with program managers to make sure that they have all of the materials that they need to deliver uh, for our clients um, and work closely with our clients to just assess their needs when it comes to DEI, uh, understand where they are in their journey, understand uh, what they need in order for the program to be considered a success. Um, outside of just that particular part, I also am involved in our marketing and social media efforts. I oversee our social media. Um, and then the last thing is so we are gearing up for our 10 year anniversary. Um, and so I am helping with the strategy uh, and the execution of that. So in terms of sort of the future of the Center for Women in Business, um, we sort of started out, interestingly enough, focused more on um, advocating for women in the workplace. Our original mission um, was advocating for women from the classroom to the boardroom. Over the last few years, that's changed a little bit, and so we've expanded more into diversity, equity, inclusion, access, belonging. Um, but really excited to go forward because we are sort of going back to our roots, but we're through a more intersectional lens. Um, and that's sort of what the 10 year celebration is all about, is the fact that the CWB will continue to focus on advocating for women and gender uh, variant folks as we talk about how to progress and advocate um, for gender parity, gender equality, um, and overall inclusion. Again, through that intersectional lens, uh, we like to sort of talk about it being race and how all of the other traits that you sort of have um, within you. And so uh, this fall we'll be rolling out a lot of our new vision, our new direction, um, because we have gone through a lot of changes and it's really exciting. And so um, we've done some really great work over the last 10 years. We wanna celebrate that and we wanna sort of uh, lay the foundation for the next 10 years of all the amazing things that are to come. Um, I'm Sarah Giosa, I'm a sophomore, um, I'm an office assistant at the CWB, so, and I report directly to Eleni. Um, I'm Lauren, I'm a sophomore as well, I'm majoring in marketing, and I'm also an office assistant here, and I do a lot of the like social media and communications and stuff. So. I would say the CWB has definitely imp impacted me positively. Um, it's like a safe space for me. I really enjoy coming here. I'm actually not supposed to be working right now. I'm just, I can't be eat lunch <laughs> with Lauren. Um, yeah, and definitely everyone here is super welcoming and they care a lot about us, um, like our well-being and how we do in school. So, yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree. I love working with the CWB, especially being in like the Women's Leadership Program and being a woman at Bentley. It's really exciting to see a lot of the efforts that Bentley's trying to make to make it better for us here and even just seeing the behind the scenes of a lot of the program, programs we experience and the conferences and the reports, it's really exciting to be a part of that. Hello, I'm Yasmin. I'm a first year student here at the CWB and I work as a student intern for marketing and I report under Dominique. Um, I'm currently doing a marketing and social media campaign for uh, Heritage Months and Celebrations during May. The CWB has given me a lot of opportunities uh, for networking and also uh, specialties within marketing and research. Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm a senior at Bentley University. I'm majoring in accounting and I'm an office assistant at the Center for Women in Business and I do a lot of things here. I help work on PowerPoints that focus on diversity, equity and inclusion topics and I also do scheduling for higher ups in the company. So the CWB has had a really big impact on me as I've been working here for about three years now and I've gotten to do a lot of work with different companies and they've been advocating for people um, through DE&I efforts and that's taught me how to be able to advocate for others on Bentley's campus. 
Hi, my name is Ria Vengerlaker and I'm a senior and my major is economics and finance with a minor in computer information systems. And at the Center of Women in Business, CWB for short, I'm an office assistant intern. So basically my role is just to help Becky, who I uh, report to directly. I help her with, you know, the programs that go on at the CWB. And uh, those programs entails like uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion presentations, conferences, and everything just to create like an inclusive environment, which is one of the major points of why I love to work at the CWB because, you know, at Bentley, there's like a 70-30 ratio, uh, male to female, so I feel like working at the CWB with such an inclusive environment, um, also promoting inclusivity is something I am very passionate about and something that I look forward to carrying on in my workplace as well. Um, for like everything that I learned through the CWB. Um, in terms of how the CWB office has impacted me, so I started my junior year uh, fall semester, so during COVID. Um, the reason why I wanted to start, as I've mentioned before, is just to see how uh, Bentley University promotes uh, DE&I, especially uh, for women. And I think it has impacted me because I've learned a lot about Bentley and a lot of the programs that they've done here so far, because if I had, like if I didn't work here I wouldn't really be aware of what programs they have to offer for women like us um, and it's just been like like a pleasure working here because I've learned so many skills and so many presentation skills a lot about DE&I and also just how um, the programs occur at on this campus and it's kind of nice knowing that um, there's like a safe space for women of color and just like women in general so yeah. Hi, my name is Sia Goyle and I'm a sophomore graduating in the class of 2024 and I'm studying data analytics here at Bentley University. At the Center for Women in Business, I'm a student intern who primarily focuses with our CRM and data management. The CWB has taught me many things, but the few I'd like to highlight here is that one, I have built long-lasting professional relationships with people that I never would have met or come across at my time at Bentley if I hadn't worked here. With the love, open arms, and warm greetings I was welcomed with into this professional environment, I couldn't have asked for a better first job. The other thing that has impacted me about the CWB the most is the content with which we work. Diversity, equity, and inclusion is extremely important to me, and it is really impactful and significant to me personally that with my everyday life, I'm able to affect change, not only here on campus, but also making my small part in the workforce.